Happy Monday, this is your Mortgage Market, and I'm Chris Bettis from Fluent Mortgage. Uh, market fluently. So, I usually would just jump straight into the market, right? Um, but something I'm seeing, not only locally, but nationally, there's a bunch of chatter of this in the mortgage market. So, realtors, just be aware, it's a slippery slope, right? Especially with rural properties, we're starting to see really low ball listings. So it's really gonna be worth five. You're listing it for four to create a bidding war, driving up the price. It works, clearly, because we're doing it over and over. Understand the risk and the reward, right? Okay, so you better hope you're getting a cash offer because you just told the entire world that property is only worth $400,000. So you yourself just caused that appraisal to probably come in light. Because again, your listing says, we believe the value of this property to be worth $400,000. So what that it out, got outbid and out um, multiple offers and clients that they thought it was worth five, that's cool, but our value is probably gonna come in closer to four and you're gonna have major issues in terms of low appraisals and then you're mad at the appraisal in reality. Um, Based on your bidding war, just understand you better hope for a cash offer. So be careful when you do those. Again, just letting you know what we see nationally uh, and at home a bunch now. So specific to last week. So man, the economy's racing, like literally with this increased rollout of vaccines um, and stimulus money, like of course, and, and states opening, racing, rolling, we blasted through on every single report just about. However, the strange thing is, and you can see it literally what's occurred over the last uh, few days, week or so, like right here in terms of gaining. Um, in light of this, I guess maybe we knew it was gonna happen. I guess investors were like expected more because they fled to bonds. Um, we were at the highest interest rates we've had all year and yet we saw a regression and it's been incredible the last week. So, um, Right now, for Earls, we're saying 225 again, right? So for those VA refis, we're saying 225 again. Uh, reality and purchases, though, kind of coming back to super competitive market. You're not going to get your seller concessions accepted. We're going 275 at this point, so we can pay for everybody's um, closing costs at that mark. So for VA, obviously conforming, you can see. Specific to today, uh, we're a little bit worse, just a tick worse than when we were at the same time on Friday. But at this point, I'm floating. We're seeing some a little bit of normal volatility in the market. Main things for this week. So, stock market should dictate no real reports until Thursday. Thursday and Friday, we have existing home sales, new home sales. So, that'll be cool to see those at the end of the week. Um, you know, for me... What I'm watching is this, right? We've already busted through the ceiling. It's that floor to see if the overall moving trend has made its mark. So if it breaks through and our new and we break through that new floor and set a new floor, yay, 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 floating. We're gonna see um, much better interest rates in the near term. But for now, that's gonna be the key parameter to let me know: Am I gonna be floating long term, or is it just today looking for a micro? Um, gain in market. So anyway, Chris Bettis, Fluent Mortgage. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you um, tomorrow and next week for the market.